Welcome back to the World Gymnastics Championships. Just a reminder, there's plenty of great sport coming away on the Seven Network tomorrow from midday. It's moving day at the Australian Open Golf coming to you from Moona Lynx. Can world number eight, Adam Scott, win his first ever event on his home soil? To do it, he's going to have to chase down 1994 champ Robert Allenby, who leads by four. Also lurking dual Australian Open winner Aaron Badley, who is also at four under. Now, if you love your rugby, Australia takes on Wales. Kickoff is 3.30 a.m. The early hours of Sunday morning. So you can set your alarms for that if you like. Otherwise, you can watch the replay in Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne and Adelaide. That starts at 9 a.m. And for our Perth viewers, from 6 a.m. Well, let's check the standings here from the second rotation as we take a look. The Americans at the top there. Elizabeth Tweddle from Great Britain going into third position. And Australia's Monette Russo. Well, she's doing so well there in fourth. Well, don't forget to watch out for the girls in the two rotations to go, particularly on the beam. Now, this is the hardest of the apparatus to master. It can literally make or break an all-rounder. The beam has a certain magic about it. It is only 10 centimetres wide and stands 1.2 metres off the ground and requires a lot of concentration. To be successful on this apparatus, you can't hold back. It's all or nothing. The gymnast has 90 seconds to complete her routine. Anything over that incurs a deduction. The girls must travel the length of the beam and the routine will include acrobatic elements that move forward, backward and sidewards. Height is paramount in executing somersaults and watch out for flexibility in split leaps and jumps. Look out for gymnasts that are precise and confident and perform a unique routine with artistic flair. And we can see Russo warming up on beam now in her 30 second touch. Looking confident. What's, what's required here, if she, if she can really nail this, she can head to the last apparatus, surely, with a feeling of freedom and, and confidence. That's exactly right. Well, basically, this is now make or break. If she hangs on in this beam routine, she has a chance. Obviously, if she falls, she doesn't, but she also can't put in an average routine. She can't put in something which is cautious and stays on. Yeah. She's just got to go there and do 100%. <clears throat> Yes, it's no good relying on others to uh, make the mistake. Those flies are playing havoc, aren't they? Summer's just <laughs> around the corner, listen. They're was, everywhere. Memel here is a very confident beam worker. She's not um, got the same level of style, but she's a pretty reliable performer. But the best of them can fall. It's interesting. The top six at the moment, all from the west, the eastern block. Not in contention at the moment, and you would have to think the way Memel is performing and Lucan is performing, uh, they are both very steely competitors. Well, all the standings show Memel quite a bit ahead, point one three eight. This is not her strong apparatus, but it is one of Lucan's stronger apparatus. Scored a 9.262 in the qualifications, whereas Memel, well, 9.2, which is pretty reasonable. <laughs> So let's just see what Lucan's made of. We'll find out now. First series is the killer. Flip, layout, layout. Beautiful. She has the lines of her world champion rhythmic mother. Nicely done, Anodi, jump full. She's looking on the money here. And Ariel, great placement. It's critical that they put themselves into the correct landing position every time. Look at that flexibility, maximum amplitude. The dismount will be interesting because she does a triple twist 
and the judges will be looking for her feet to be square with the beam when she actually lands. Just about. Well, that's a very, very good routine. That is going to challenge Chelsea Memel now. And look at this. Absolutely delighted. She's a wonderful story because Valerie and Anna ran a gymnasium. Uh, they couldn't afford a babysitter, so begrudgingly they took her along and they didn't want her to be involved in gymnastics. And she started and she started and she kept going. Finally, they relented and here she is now. That's right. So her father, Valeri, Olympic champion, dual gold medalist in 1988. Mother, world champion, Olympic champion. So her great, great pedigree. She's bred to win as uh, we join Emily Lepenik. Now, Lepenik is in fifth position. She's 0.6 behind the leaders and 0.5 behind third spot. not as clean as others and a little bit of errors in the dance movements just depends on how tough the judges are feeling first line piked full in that's a full twist in the first salto and a back somersault out that's probably the best of her tumbling lines Score coming through for Luke and another 9.587 beam and bars. 